play with Team T and Mars. That's T, the Link player. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We have both T's in Winter yes. Semis actually today, so that's going to be a little bit confusing. But here we go. <laughs> I believe this is, uh, if I recall correctly, a matchup uh, rematch from Prime Saga on Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. T, the only <laughs> Japanese player that came that will that was not able to make it to winter semis. Everyone else <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did make it. Interestingly enough, he actually defeated the grand champion of Prime Saga today here mm -hmm. at this MSM. Right. So it just goes to show, I mean, T had lost to, it was Ally and then immediately Gluttony right afterwards. So it's like, it just shows you that how much potential and how much talent there was at the tournament. That it's right. like players of this caliber couldn't even make it that far. Exactly. So let's see what what happens here between Mars and T, though. Mm -hmm. All right, there's a quick back throw. Yeah, you can get some good chases on that. Usually you don't want to go for uh, up throw unless it's a kill. Down throw is pretty much useless. Wow, the edge guard just run off with the fair. T not ready for it. Goes right underneath the projectile and just able to invade his space anyway. Yeah, Mars going to run away with that first stock. <laughs> T going in for that quick dash attack, punishing with a parry and a spin attack. Yeah. Up smash might have been a little too quick on its own yeah. uh, to be able to be a punish, so the quick parry to get three more frames of advantage and then continue on afterwards. Good choice from T. Right. T, not struggling too much right here to bring this right back. He's definitely got Mars at kill percent. That forward air nearly doing the trick. Throws a bomb back up. All right, he doesn't have to worry about that for a while, and he's really on the chase for it. Another back throw, potential take chase option on the platform. Not quite going to find it, but still keeping him off stage, but the Nair's going to box him out. Okay, beautiful nair to back air from Mars, too. He's definitely doing a really good job of extending this lead right now. He's got T at 97% and him at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Smash not working again. He's really looking for a down throw. Finally, we'll be able to do it. Same kill throw as it was in Smash 4. It works out just fine for him. Yeah, I mean, that makes me kind of, like, worried a little bit for T because he's already taken 107% as well, and he had to, like, wait to find that up throw as a kill confirm and not really finding any other sort of read in neutral to, to get that stock off otherwise. Yeah. It is only the first stock though, yeah. so maybe we can download something and potentially get some setups later. He was getting really good at tech chase into dash attack basically, but we'll have to see how it goes down. S trying to catch and press a button and Ooh. get that berry and gonna get a big F smash punish there. Huge F smash, taking a lot of percent, Mars uh, already at 58, and then you gotta consider also that this is winter semi, so we got a long head uh, set before us, it's like going to be a best of five. Yep. Not going to get that whip to be able to set up the kill. Usually he tries to catch them when they're landing so that, or when they're trying to press a button. Usually able to catch them on, on the range. Regrab, yeah, try to catch and push a button. Usually that's like a bait where you try to punish the regrab, but then you come back up with the kick flip really quickly, get the berry, and get an easy kill confirmed. Ooh, okay. Punishing the uh, flip jump into him with the forward air. Uh, T moving up a stock after all. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's the benefit of playing Link. He's a little bit heavier. Uh, he does have a ton of projectiles, so he can slow down the pace of the match to his tempo. Right. I like that little movement with the boomerang. Trying to do it point blank so that he could get a follow up after it. Not much else going on, though. Both of these two really being safe on each other. Just hitting each other's sealed. But Ooh. that anti air, beautiful with the up smash. Absolutely, you know, the charge down smash just to flex. I like that. I like, uh, it's interesting what, like, players will do when they take a stock. Some some will do, like, wave landing on the platform. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some will just do a whole movement display. Mm -hmm. Have to go behind him. Not quite able to find it, but Mars not able to find the spacing either. Sometimes, if you don't get the right tempo on Zared, there's, like, a little blind spot, and T is able to find it. Okay, this flip jump uh, spiking into the stage. Luckily, he was not DIing out in that case. DI out may actually uh, done him in for the for the stock. Yeah, pretty dangerous uh, percents for both of these oh, players. Oh, oh he's oh, done that oh. twice already Ooh, tonight. Yikes. Actually, he keeps doing that. He keeps uh, just going underneath by accident with the kick flip, and he doesn't quite make it back to the stage. I don't know if there. I'd have to see what he's intending to do to see what yeah. he's messing up there. But yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, so a bit of a misplay coming out from Mars again. This is only game number one. We're going into game two, potentially. Uh, I mean, two more to go for T to win the set, but still, still in it for the long haul here. Definitely mm -hmm. have a lot of faith in Mars as a player. And uh, what he's been able to do with the Zero Suit Samus, uh, even taking tournaments, whole tournaments, Collision, after all, being the his claim to fame so far in Ultimate. Right. I think this is... Uh... 
pretty much the flow that they went in their match at Prime Saga, if I recall correctly. It was like Pokemon Stadium 2, Smashville, Stadium 2, Smashville. They, they got it down to a science, man, <laughs> yeah. so we're probably going to see the exact same thing all over again. Yeah, almost clipped them with that Nair. Tried to take out his jump in the process, which oh. I think he successfully did. No check chase on that boomerang, but still boxing him out with the bears and just catching the cross up with that back air. Very nice stuff. A quick late wave map onto the stage just to be able to avoid any potential follow up from T. And both players kind of just dancing ar around each other's shield right now. A lot of neutral airs coming out from T and nearly going to get that forward smash. No spike hitbox on the flip kick. T going to be able to survive just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, catches in the air to air. Just catches Zero Suit Rising. Usually she has to do that first before she can drop down with the aerial. So very smart from T. Ooh. Catching them before uh, Mars can come back to the ground with an aerial. Oh, man. He fell out of the uh, Paralyzer and Mars was unable to get the boost kick. Mm -hmm. uh, quick punish here from T. Out of shield. Spin attack. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Very smart for him right to, to use the parry on that because uh, usually the last hit of yeah. the whip has too much like shield, shield stun and uh, pushes you back a little bit. So the parry was just able to keep us positioning there. Quick back throw actually. Puts him off stage. Screws him back with the down tilt and the paralyzer. Mm -hmm. Not able to find that last mix up but still a decent amount of damage. Doesn't get the tech either and he's gotten some good ledge control here. Uh, definitely starting to rack up this damage onto T. Back throw. Yeah, he DI's out. Yeah, it's going to be easy to get out of that. And one thing to keep in mind also about um, T is his usage of the boomerang, right? Like, you would think uh, in a lot of these situations he may be in disadvantage, but he actually is counting on the boomerang to return and help him out a bit. Yeah. So it's a bit of a bait. Woo! Wow, he just dropped shield and just turned around grab. That takes so many frames. No. Very brave from T just to be able to catch that. No doubt smash going to work. That's a free boost kick for him. Yeah, Mars moving up two stocks to one now. Relatively healthy stock as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he thought he could potentially catch him with Ooh. something. Oh, Ooh. but the jab block, forward smash, still not enough. Finds a corner DI on that. Uh, that was crazy, man. I was almost sure that. Like, Link is so strong. Like, his forward tilt is, like, as strong as a smash attack. I would have thought, like, a charged forward smash out of a jab block would have killed. But mm -hmm. was not the case. Yeah. I like that attempt from Mars. He got caught catching the bomb while doing the up air, so he faded back, tried to throw the bomb at him, get the hitbox, and extend it into another combo. Usually, Link's main bag on people catching the bomb and it interrupts their combo, but Mars showing that he's aware of his environment and surroundings is helping him out very much in this matchup. Oof. Yeah, sometimes the bane of ZSS, you have to be really tight on your spacing sometimes when you land on it with aerials, otherwise a whiff right above your opponent. Okay, still T trying to approach with these uh, landing neutral airs, but Mars not really falling prey to that, just kind of holding shield, waiting to react and uh, punish accordingly. Yeah, he's doing a good job of using that Zare to space him out, and then when he tries to catch T getting a reaction afterwards, he usually has like another Zare, or he has a down smash, or something not lagging, boost kick out of shield as well, just to be able to catch him when he tries to approach. Okay, that was a really smart Nair coming out from T right there. Able to uh, help him out in his own recovery. Yo, the boomerang into forward air. And that's going to be the game number two for T. You know what they're saying? Avatar the last airbender. <laughs> boomerang, <laughs> you always do come back. And it definitely helped out there. And he was looking Boom. for that setup earlier too with the boomerang able to come back. Mars was aware of it, but that time just kind of too much in the heat of the moment. Just got clipped there. Not much he could have done about that. And that's going to be T taking the next game, too. Yeah, 2-0 in favor of T right now. Mars, uh, he's on his last limbs here. Let's see what he's, he's going to do. It's a, it's a bit unfortunate, too, because we got to remember he did self-destruct on that final stock in game one. So he's got he's to have a lot of mental fortitude right now to, to keep himself in the game. Mm -hmm. Scoops him up with the up smash. Yeah, it just goes for the fair. Nearly guaranteed stuff. I've seen some people air dodge sometimes, but that might be a certain percent of certain rages as well. Very beautiful parry into the grab and the miss tech on the platform allowing T to get a up tilt off of it as well. Oof. Nair beats out the, the projectile hitbox. Unfortunate for Mars. Yeah, and it looks like if he's like at close enough range, he's able to just kind of short hop over the paralyzer and just immediately attack. Yeah. Zero suit Samus. Boomerang coming back. Oh, if he went for the fair maybe, but that was just uh, trajectory calculations. I'm sure he was doing trigonometry in his head and didn't quite <laughs> calculate it fast like, enough. Like that <laughs> meme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In 
Intercepts the air to air. Catches oh. the directional air dodge in. Yo, okay. Yeah. Uh, what happened? <laughs> well, he tried to do the, the bomb tech where you drop it and then it oh. explode it behind you. Yeah. But you need to wait for the yes. link pull bomb animation to drop. Yeah, actually, but, and it takes way too long. I him. actually saw him uh, SD that way as well earlier mm -hmm. against someone else. I'm keeping up that spacing. Now he's starting to figure out how T closes in the gap. Oh, oh. no, dude. Was the boomerang a misinput? Like, it might have been. It looked like he did like a weird B reverse thing. He yeah. might have been trying to B reverse the, the spin attack instead right. to that get a reversal. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah, unfortunate. Yep. But you know what? I for an I. He SD the first game, so you know what? It'll work out here. Game three got an SD, so they're, they're counted even. Absolutely. And Mars up two stocks now. Uh, this is exactly what he needed after being two da down two whole games. Mm -hmm. He's still attempting these uh, nair approaches, not really finding too much success. Mars doing what he does best, just using Zero Suit's quick fox trots, or I guess in this game is dash dances now. Never mind, uh, dash dances and this Zero Suit's overall speed, just to be able to keep T Kezing on how he tries to get in with the stock lead. It's much more easy for him to be able to keep him out. Presses oh, the button. Oh, yep. very into the boost kick, and that's one game on the board for Mars. That's like exactly the kind of opening he needed. I mean, sure, T, T as deed in that game twice even. Mm -hmm. But uh, let, let's see, let's see what happens. Cause when a right. player as D's like that twice and they're up 2-0, it's it's like not too tragic, right? right. You just kind of shake it off as like, well, like I probably would have won that if <laughs> I, if I hadn't self destructed twice. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Going back to the stadium with the the match that they won on. Of course, it was on the Mars SD, like we said before, so we'll have to see. Mars, now he's got some momentum going. He's got a game win. See if he can bring it back, potentially game five. See how this goes. Okay, we're going to go right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. It's like you said, man. We're just going to go back and forth between these two stages. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like that. Using his dash dances to try bait out a out of shield option from T. Just intercepted with the fair. Very smart. Ooh, beautiful conversions coming out from Mars. He already got T to 54%. Pretty much unanswered. He's got him at the ledge now. Back here to send him back off stage. He's gonna burn his double jump here too. Yeah. He's able to make back just fine. Looked like he was trying to find kick flip. Didn't quite go on the angle that he was hoping T would go for. Maybe a little bit lower. Yeah. Still using those aerials to space him out. Boomerang's not quite gonna be able to help this time. And falls through the platform with the back air, sending T back off stage. And back air putting in so much work for Mars right now. He's got to be careful how he contests T off stage because there's always that threat of the uh, reverse spin attack to get back to the stage, which is so incredibly strong. It wouldn't have killed that 40%, but any later, it, it's it's a pretty early kill option. Yeah, Mars still playing the same game that he was on that last one, just being able to outspace T. Figuring out how he wants to come in after the Zares and uh, the other zoning tools that Mars has available to him. And then just uses shield, boost kick out of shield. Bunch of other get off me options to be able to get that stock. Well, you can see Mars just starting to wait out these Nair approaches, which uh, T has been favoring a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just intercepting Beautiful on Zares. air to hair with Ooh. this range. This yeah. is difficult for to really do oh. anything. Oh, well, okay. The, the, he went a little too yeah, hard we'll on that. It. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. With the bomb? Oh, I thought he was going to detonate it for sure. <laughs> I rarely see T detonate <laughs> the bomb. The only time I really see him use it is for edge guarding. I mean, it's very interesting to see a Link mate that likes to use his normals <laughs> and his aerials yeah. rather than, you know, the projectile setups that I'm sure the devs wanted him to use. <laughs> and that's the beauty about this Link, too, is that not only does he is he one of the best projectile characters in the game, uh, he has so many different tools to work with, but he is actually a combo fiend as mm -hmm. well. It's it's kind of nuts. Oh, intercepts each other. Oh. Ah, yeah. The grab doesn't have Easy that much lag on it, again. so yeah, you'll be able to get the boost kick afterwards. Nice punish from Mars. Yeah, only 63% on Mars's second stock here. T down to his last life. Okay, okay. quick up smash to anti air. Try to wait out the option afterwards by waiting on the platform. Oh, and actually clanks with the boomerang. He, he figured he could get the jab to finish before getting hit by boomerang. But you know what? He's Yo. still going to be able to keep up the pressure. Whoa! Three back airs. The first one, he, he just crossed up his shield, hit him with a back air, hit him with a 
another back air, I believe he just like dashed forward and then brought her back air and then un just it was a series of two to three reads that were just amazing. Like, yeah. It, what did I what did I at? Like seventy two <laughs> after that last back air? It, it, it was it was, yeah. He was at dumb low percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that especially in the beginning of that game too, that back air was just putting in a lot of work, outspacing almost all of T's nares, and then it closes it off to win that next game too. We're going to game five, like we said. Mars with some momentum going in. T's got to bring it back somehow. Switch into the dark link this time. That one opening, man. You hate to see it. T uh, SDing twice when he was up 2-0. And that was all Mars needed to bring the, the momentum back in his favor. <laughs> oh, but double boomerang is in there. Nice stuff. Catches them in the platform. Not quite. Directional air draws. Not enough ending lag on that. They're both plays, playing super cautious right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to overextend. Yeah, you can tell both of them are pretty scared. Every time they misplace something, they always go back in the shield. They just want to be protected. Want to make sure they don't overextend themselves either. Oh, yeah, he grab. waited it out and then fast fell to get the auto cancel. He was able to bait him out, try to go for the grab. Yeah, went for the immediate roll into the down smash, which is a really, really fast option for Link as well. Hits mm -hmm. on both sides. Oh, chasing him down. Catches oh, both air dodges. Traps. Three air oh. dodges. Yo, okay. Zero suit Samus. OD. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Appreciate it. We could have probably done an up smash too. Yeah. But uh, just want to make sure you can cover both sides. Up smash, even forward smash mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah. I think he was just worried of last minute drift from Mars. Yeah. So he just went for the safe option. He said, why not? I'll have another opportunity. He's at 110. Like, why not? Ooh. Okay. Uh, whiffing a grab in the wrong direction and allowing Mars to get that boost kick in. Not going to be the stock quite yet. T hanging onto this ledge for dear life. Forward air sending Mars flying. What's the ledge trap going to oh, be? Oh, yeah, he got the bomb. Waiting for the up smash. Oh, he actually went for the neutral getup. I don't think T was expecting that. He was expecting something else. That's why he just waited. But Mars is playing the mix-up game there. Really trying to find this kill here. Finally, get the berry. And that's one of the big advantages that Zero Shoot in general has. You, go, you can go ham off stage with some kind of edge guard option. And then as soon as your opponent thinks they're safe, they go back to the stage. And then all of a sudden, you're getting buried by a boost kick. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of like uh, unfortunate for T right there. D did himself in, really. If he had just gone straight to the ledge, he would have been able to survive. Forgetting about that flip kick option that puts you in the ground and allows you a free punish. Yep. Up tilt. Not quite going to be able to get it. Mar still on the chase, though. Tech, potential tech chase situation with that four throw. Not able to find anything, though. But still, <laughs> every time T is trying to punish something, Zero Suit in general is just too fast for it. Maybe Breath of the Wild Link, but he's still kind of clunky in this game. He's still a big boy. Yeah. 79% on T here, 28 on Mars. They're both actually just playing so safe around shield a lot of the time. It's, it's hard for either player to, to find proper punishes. That boost kick out of shield is finding a lot of success for Mars. Even starts to become a lot more dangerous at the higher percents. Yeah, it's so simple too because you're able to yeah. be reversing case day. You can read a cross up as well. So it was really handy for ZSS to have, especially for the potentially the kill. Okay, fade back F tilt. T hanging on to this stock still at 124%. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, there's a bit of a blind spot on that whip, but yeah, just every time T Again. thinks he can punish something, yeah. just pivot, get that boost kick, and you're able to get the stock. So Mars, game point right here. Game number five between him and T. All right, just goes for the fares, recognizes that it's not going to lead him to anything, just gives him a little bit of space, tries to give him some hope, and then potentially go for him for another punish. The parry comes in on that boomerang, and yeah, Mars just staying right outside the range where T wants to be, just gets out of the way, potentially, yeah, still surviving. Oh, air dodging through the explosion of the bomb, really great recognition from Mars there. Another yeah. grab, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think another potential uh, weakness from Link as well is that in air-to-air -air combat, if you're not preemptively getting it and your opponent is there already first, usually you're going to get beaten now. He's been trying to do fair like three times in a row. He finally gets a drag down fair to be able to get an up smash, but that took him three attempts, and that took up so much percent uh, deficit for him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 62%, it, it does look like a lot, but it, it's honestly like he Link's still chilling because he, he can definitely play a, lo a little bit of a slower game, and he, he's... A hell of a lot heavier than Zero Suit Samus for sure. Mm -hmm. 
both of those players, uh, just the fear of the bomb, the Mars decided to try and go in, recognizing that T was within the bomb blast zone range too, but he just recognized that and uh, took advantage of it. Tech Chase with the Zair, not quite. Just goes in with quick with the dash attack. The Dare doesn't fall for it that time, just stays outside the range and tries to punish it with something safe like the Zair instead. Oh, here's the boomerang. He chases with the up air, harassing him on that platform with the forward or as well. This is a dead even game. I mean, T barely trailing in percent. Oh. Boost kick. That's it. Straight off the top, and Mars is going to take it. That was just straight up whoever had that right read first. Yeah. T thought he could get point blank boomerang into like up.